Hey guys, this is Dragony, and today I've got a new game for you. Uh, it's, it's a new Flash game. I've gotten kind of bored of Learn to Fly 2. I'll, I'll play that on my own time, but I don't really feel like making more episodes. Right now I want... I want to play a Flash game that I've had a, a bit of experience in before. And I can tell you, for a Flash game, this is fucking great. It is long, it is fun, it is great. The game even has its own original soundtrack, for fuck's sakes. Come on. And, like, I wasn't even done the game before, and I had... I was playing it for maybe four hours. And this is, like, it's all, like, storyline and crap, so... So, yeah. Oh, in case you're wondering... Oh, I turned my volume down. In case you're wondering... This game is called Starwish. RPG Shooter Starwish. It's a great fucking game. Sorry. Sorry if you sound a little different, by the way. My nose is plugged. I don't know why it's plugged, but it's plugged. Hey! If you think this game looks interesting, there will be a link for you to play on Conquer Gates in the video description. So, okay. Uh, I've actually never beaten the game, so let's just play on normal. Now I'll read all this to you. A short time ago, in a galaxy not far from here, with the, with the advent of faster-than-light travel, the Galactic Federation quickly formed as a government body spanning over dozens of planets. The free exchange of ideas led to many advancements. Free trade brought about many marvels never before seen. However, as with any golden age of free trade, there would always be pirates. What began as a loose collection of rebels soon organized into powerful groups. As the Federation military increased, so did the number of dissatisfied Federation planets who would support pirate activity. Over seven star systems, even pirate lords emerged, banded together a collection of pirates possessed military presence and granted the Federation now. <laughs> Recently, however, a ruthless, ruthlessly efficient captain rose through the ranks of the Federation by her command. She successfully crushed two pirate lords. The other five has since begun into hiding somewhere. Something far more sinister lurks, and war would at least be there. At least think as soon as our story begins on this humble planet, much like our home something. Yeah, this game has lots of storyline, lots of text. I don't know if you guys want me to read it for you, but I will read it in this episode and then give me some feedback in the comments about like next episode and stuff if you want me to read it all for you guys. Oh, you're here. It's been ages since I've had a visitor. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Just, uh, <coughs> kind of throw my breakfast there. Anyways. Hmm? All you can see is white? Strange. Perhaps your eyes are not accustomed yet. It's probably for the best. My beautiful radiance would blind anyway. I sense your doubt. <sighs> no one ever believes me. I admit, you're the only one who's come to visit in so long. No, no, you're not dead. Yet. This isn't the afterlife, if that's what you're concerned about. Let's just say, this is the end of time. This is where all has gone and... Gone to and all shall be. You will end up here someday. Well, in addition to right now. It's a somewhat embarrassing story how I arrived here. Long ago, my heart was broken. Since then, I have been left to drift here for eternity. Listen to me, Ramble. That's enough about me. I'd like to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. These are all hypothetical. I find that answers are subject to change over time, just as people are. When growing up, how do you spend your time? Playing games, motherfucker! Uh, sweets anytime, motherfucker! Uh, I don't like math. Uh, it's just a language. What quality? Fair. Uh, Someone will be able to be the bitter end, motherfucker! What is it? Deceit to your fellow man or woman. Penny just over the jewel things. If one had to perish, who would it be? 
I would give my life because I am an amazing person. No. <laughs> what gives life meaning? Without love, life is not worth love. A sense of purpose gives goals to strive for. That's personally what I believe. You guys can believe whatever the fuck you want, but that's what the fuck I fucking believe, so shut the fuck up. I like to say fuck. <laughs> what do you want for the future? Peace, so life, future, no terrorism, no war, prosperity, long life, uh, peace. You find me annoying. <laughs> I promise this is the last question. Did you get up already? What? We'll meet again someday. A voice. I heard a familiar voice. Blah. I heard a familiar nagging voice. I was freezing cold too. Dus, dus, get up! It was the worst feeling to wake up to being cold and tired. Oh, buzz off! It's like four in the morning. I know, I'm exhausted too, but this time it's important. Please, you don't often hear me pleading. Except for every other day when you scream my head off when I get injured or when I eat your food. Not that I'd say that out loud. That's true. What's the emergency? Earlier, we, were, we received an unknown encrypted transmission. The transmission was interrupted when the captain identified a Federation assault force headed in our direction. What? <laughs> I don't even understand any of that myself. They will be on us in. Uh, guys? Are your eardrums still intact? Okay, I shall continue. What the? How did they manage to get this close? I, I don't know. We were surprised too. We've already started the jump sequence, but we don't have enough time to discharge. This was the worst case scenario. It took several minutes to jump, to start a jump, and we would be like sitting ducks under a full scale assault. These Federation bastards. Alright, I'll head out there and buy us some time. No, our orders are to evacuate. Oh, shut the fuck up. I want some gameplay, bitch. Hey, hey, bitch. I said, shut the fuck up. This is an overwhelming close range attack without immediate escape. The evacuation shuttles are the best course of action. Oh my god. Surrender, of course, is not an option as the death penalty is assured for a lot of work. Ever since I lost Dad... Oh, look, well, some character development. That's very nice. By the way, this game has lots of character development, so if you're into storyline, character developments, long games, etc., etc., I would suggest checking this game out. Now, I shall continue to read this. Every so long, I thought the lack of Starship Engineers has made repairs difficult as best. We can't keep running much longer, and our supplies are running thin. Look, my guys. That's true. The feds have been pursuing us aggressively lately. They must really want us out of the picture. Alright, alright. We're losing time. Get your stuff and go. Good. The shuttles will be leaving shortly. A shield should hold to allow a full evac before the mothership is destroyed. Okay, head to the shuttles. I'm going to help the crew escape. Don't do something stupid like you always do, bitch! Don't you go putting people to sleep with your tracks. One time! You promised me you wouldn't bring that up. Hey, stop pushing me! Good, she's gone. I'm sorry, Tessa. I'm not letting them destroy our home. Gotta get to the hangar. The mothership hangar. Good, my ship's still here. I'm surprised no one has flown it out for evacuation yet. Some bad reeky of booze, oh god. That's because I was expecting you several minutes ago. Swig, what's the situation report? Pretty grim. The firebolt is almost here. No, that is not a Harry Potter reference. Shut the fuck up. What? The Federation sent the firebolt after us? What's wrong? You sound scared. 
Nothing can besiege a planet! Yep, armed with beamer and attack ships, anti-planetary plasma canyons, and countless other guns. Personally, I'd love to play with our weapon arrays. Screw it, we've got nothing to lose if our home is lost. My thoughts exactly. Suit up, our jump drives are still counting down. We may have a chance. I like the epic music change here. It's a cool song. Keep them busy for about five minutes. I'll stay in the mothership to pick off anything that gets by you. Most of the shuttles have evacuated. We'll meet up at the rendezvous point after the jump. Roger that. I owe you one, Swig. Buy me a cold one and we'll call it even. Bitch, I mean beer. Damn it, Deuce! I told you not to do this! Sorry, Tessa. This may be the last time we get to see my ugly mug. Deuce, I... I... Cutting transmission. Pay me all you want. Mara is currently leading a separate assault. Oh, for... Why did it have to be Mare? Face it, friend. Mare outclasses you in every way. Yeah, don't remind me. In any case, we're up against the most powerful ship in the known galaxy. Got a transmission from Tessa. She says, good luck. No, she didn't, you liar. She's probably screaming your ear off to stop me. Come on, Skyfish. Fly, for one last time. Enough already. Right, what kind of voice should I use for her? I don't even know. Well, at least I think that's a girl. I don't know. Oh, whatever, I'll just use a random ass voice. I am Captain Neferity of the Federation flagship Firebolt. As per Federation law, piracy is punishable by death without trial. <coughs> Pardon me. Your execution will be swift. Yeah, up yours too. Alright, finally, here's all the controls. When no overdrive bars hills, click on it, or use O to unleash a mega beam! I'll use O to unleash a mega beam! Change weapons, uh, by clicking on there. I got a lot of radio. You may also use buttons 1 to 8. Alright, unfortunately, there will be no gameplay in this episode because it might run past 15 minutes. So that is going to be the end of this episode, folks. I will see you in part 2 where we finally start shooting shit up. Goodbye.